All right, so this problem says we have two naturally occurring isotopes of silver, silver 107 and silver 109. And it says that the mass of silver 107 is 106.905 AMU. The mass of silver 109 is 108.905 AMU. And it says the atomic mass of silver, or the one you'd find in the periodic table, is 107.870 AMU. So what we're going to find here is the percent abundance of silver 107 and silver 109. So we're trying to figure out the relative amounts of silver 107 and silver 109 in nature. So in my last video, I discussed the formula on how to solve for the atomic mass. And all that formula says is that you take the product of the fraction of the isotope. So F stands for fraction. The product of the fraction of the isotope and the mass of the isotope. And then we just add all those products together for however many isotopes we have. And that equation is going to be useful in trying to solve this. So to set up the equation that I'm going to be using, what I'm first going to do is I'm going to call silver 107, I'm going to call that A, and silver 109 is going to be B. And you'll see why I did this in just a second. It just makes the calculations and writing a lot easier. So let's go ahead and apply this formula here to the problem with the information given. So it says if, that, if I find, that if I have the fraction of A, and I multiply that by the mass of A, so 106.905 AMU, and I add to that the product of the fraction of B times the mass of B, which is 108.905 AMU, then the sum of these two is going to equal the atomic mass, which is 107.870 AMU. So that equation will get us started, but we can't only use this equation because we have only one equation, but we have two unknowns. If you have more unknowns than you have equations, then it is impossible to solve for each of these two unknowns. So we need another equation. And the other equation that I'm going to use involves just a simple observation. Since there are only two naturally occurring isotopes of silver, if I add the fractions of these two isotopes together, won't that be one? Yes, it will. In other words, if I add the percent abundance of each of these two isotopes together, then that'll give me 100%. So if I add the fractions together, that'll give me just one. So that means that the fraction of A times the fraction of B, excuse me, the fraction of A plus the fraction of B is equal to 1. So now we have a system of two equations which we can solve because we have as many equations as we do un <clears throat> unknowns. And there are two main ways to solve a system of two equations. The first way what you can do is you can solve for either FA or FB in one of the equations and then once you have that expression you can plug it into the other equation but a much simpler way at least in my opinion is to multiply one of the equations by a factor in hopes to cancel out one of the variables and solve for the remaining variable so that's what we're going to do here so what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply the bottom equation this entire equation, I'm going to multiply that by 106.905 AMU. Excuse me, negative 106.905 AMU. So if I multiply FA through by 106.905 AMU, I'll get FA or negative FA times 106.905 AMU. And then if I multiply F sub B by negative 106.905 AMU, then I'll get minus 106.905, minus FB times 106. 
0.905 AMU. And then if I simply multiply 1 by negative 106.905 AMU, then I'll just get negative 106.905 AMU. And the reason why I chose this factor, negative 106.905, to multiply the bottom equation by is because if we add these two equations together, which is valid, we can add them together, then these two terms will cancel out. So if I have 106.905 AMU of something and I subtract away 106.905 AMU of something, then I'll get nothing. Which means we're left with nothing but the FB term and a constant, which is great. That's what we want. So now let's add both sides of the equation together. 108.905 AMU times FB minus 106.905 AMU times FB is just going to be 2 AMU times FB, or FB times 2 AMU. And then if we do that with the right side of the equation, we get 107.870 AMU minus 106.905 AMU. And that will give you 0 0.965 AMU. Now all we got to do is just divide both sides of the equation by 2 AMU, and we get that the fraction of B equals 0 0.4825 and that doesn't have any units because the AMUs would cancel out. So in other words, we just calculated the fraction of silver 109. How do we get the fraction of silver 107? Easy. In our initial equation, we said that FA plus FB equals 1. So to get FA, simply take 1 minus FB. And I'm not going to do that in this video. I think you can probably take that from here. One more thing, if we have the fraction of silver 109 and we want to convert that into, into a percent abundance, we simply multiply by 100%. which means we'll just be moving the decimal point two places to the right. So this would be 48.25% silver 109. So that is how you solve this problem using a system of two equations.